Hello, I'm Brady Kress, President of Dayton History, and I'd like to welcome you to our premier open air museum, Carillon Historical Park. I'm also very excited to introduce you to the unique and rich history of Dayton, a history of invention, incredible industrial achievement, and astonishing people. Within the park, we've collected stories, artifacts, structures, and images to help share and interpret these Dayton innovations with you. From its early settlement in 1796 to the Wright brothers, through important local contributions made during the Second World War and beyond. Our mission is based on helping people everywhere understand the enormous impact creative Daytonians have had and continue to have on the nation and the world. Deeds Carillon, the cornerstone of the park, is Dayton's most recognizable landmark. With 57 bells, it's Ohio's largest carillon and has come to symbolize not only the city, but this city's amazing history. You'll find that history here at Carillon Historical Park, the heart of Dayton, Ohio. Carillon Historical Park showcases Dayton's rich heritage of creativity, invention, and milestones in transportation that changed the nation and the world. Set in a beautiful 65-acre green space between the Great Miami River and a glacial moraine, the park owes its existence to the generosity of founders, Colonel Edward A. and Edith Walton Deeds. The park opened to the public in 1950. Their mission was to preserve, interpret, and celebrate the history of Dayton and the Miami Valley. While listening to carillon bells in Bruges, Belgium during the 1930s, Mrs. Deeds, herself an accomplished musician, was inspired to build a carillon for the enjoyment of the Dayton community. Construction of the tower began in 1940, and the inaugural Deeds Carillon concert was played during a sunrise service on Easter Sunday, 1942. After World War II, Industrialist Colonel Deeds began assembling a wonderful collection of buildings and artifacts to preserve and celebrate the history of Dayton and the Miami Valley. The Miami Conservancy District, the nation's only privately funded flood prevention system, converted the blighted flood-prone area into a beautiful park through an innovative landfilling program that used soil from the basin of the Great Miami River. That kind of innovation shouldn't be surprising. Known as the cradle of innovation, Dayton has more patents per capita than any other city in the country. Some of these inventions include the airplane, the cash register, the automobile self-starter, and the pop-top beverage can. The list is long and impressive, and you'll find many examples here at the park. Like Deeds Barn, a replica of the carriage house where Charles F. Kettering and the Barn Gang, working in their spare time, developed several innovative automotive technologies. They later formed their own company, the Dayton Engineering Laboratories Company, or DELCO. Kettering went on to become vice president of General Motors Research Corporation. He got his start at another landmark Dayton industry, the National Cash Register Company. These and other local industries are represented throughout the park. The park also presents a replica of the Wright Cycle Shop, where Wilbur and Orville Wright first tinkered with building a flying machine. In fact, Carillon Historical Park has one of the premier collections relating to Dayton's own Wright brothers, including the original 1905 Wright Flyer III. The 1905 Flyer is the world's first practical airplane and is the only airplane designated a National Historic Landmark. The Wright brothers piloted the flyer in record-breaking flights at Huffman Prairie Flying Field just outside of Dayton. You'll relive the excitement of this world-changing technology that blossomed here in Dayton. You'll also experience the region's pioneer history and its importance as a major transportation center. Go back in time to the era of the Miami Erie Canal and cover bridges. The James F. Dickey Family Transportation Center has a Barney and Smith passenger car built in Dayton, as well as most of the park's historic public transportation collection. Antique automobiles, vintage bicycles, and classic steam locomotives are some of the other exhibits awaiting you you'll experience how transportation changed the Dayton area and how Dayton changed transportation worldwide. Dayton's role in the nation's wartime history is also represented in the park. 
from just after the American Revolution through World War II. Our collection of military artifacts reflects Dayton's contributions and sacrifices in the defense of our country. All this and more are waiting within the park, and you'll want to come back because Caroline Historical Park is part of a growing plan with new artifacts being added, new exhibits being developed, and new experiences in store for our visitors. We have special events happening year round and new ways to enjoy each season from a Dayton perspective. And while you're enjoying this living history, you can also enjoy a bite to eat at Culp's Cafe, modeled after Culp's Cafeteria that operated in Dayton in the 1930s and 40s. Also, be sure to stop by the museum store where you'll find unique gifts and keepsakes. Commemorate your visit with us with distinctive products for every member of the family. Well, thank you for joining us here today at Carillon Historical Park, where three centuries of history are about to come to life.